Eyes up here, mate. So you're looking, mate. Eyes up here. What is up, you guys? And welcome back to another video. It's so weird standing up in a video. I don't know what to do with my arms, with my hands. Am I cut off here? Am I cut off here? How much can you guys actually see? I don't know. Today's video is in sponsorship. Sponsorship. Is that the word? Today's video is in partnership with Bump. Now, Bump is an app where you can buy and sell clothes. It just launched on Android yesterday, I believe. I'll get more into the app and all the functions and the details in one of the later parts of this video. Basically, I'll be selling a lot of my shit. Sorry. <clears throat> I'll be selling a lot of my precious clothes on the app. If you haven't downloaded already, downloaded it, downloaded it, downloaded it. Link is in the description. If you want to go follow me already, it's Magnus. By the time this video goes live, basically all the stuff is, is on there that I'm selling. So go check it out. But without further ado, let's get into the how to, how to be stylish as fuck. I actually feel so uneasy standing here. When you're used to sitting down in every video and suddenly you're standing up, it's like, it's crazy. What do you think of my um, my lovely color scheme? I did it just for this video. My OCD, my OCD is tingling. <sighs> the first step on always looking fly as fuck is to have a very, very good essentials and a very good just base wardrobe essentially. Navy trousers, black trousers, beige trousers, white t-shirts, jackets, good white shoes. Now these are the items which you're gonna be keeping for a longer time. So investing in good quality might be a good shout at this point because you'll wear these clothes with all the statement pieces essentially. For me, I can't really say that, can I? Fuck! I'll try not to be, be a sellout in this video. For me, I tend to wear my own trousers. I know how they fit, I know how they feel, I know everything about them pretty much. Or I'll mix up some cargoes or some other stuff. And then on top, I always wear the same white Uniqlo t-shirt. That is if I'm layering with a shirt on a knee, over knee, over knee. Overneath, Jesus. I need to go back to school. If I'm layering the white t-shirt with an overshirt or a shirt on top of it, always go for the same Uniqlo t-shirt. I'm a sweaty motherfucker. I'll sweat for t-shirts very, very easily. I think it's like 10 pounds for two t-shirts. I'll wear the same t-shirt two, three times. I might chuck it out. Mm, yeah, I know how they fit. I know how they wash. I know everything about those t-shirts. But the key is to have good quality pieces which are gonna last you a very long time. And that's where you build your statement pieces on top of that wardrobe. A lot of people have a wardrobe that's just filled with statement pieces, which is fine, it's fair enough. But my best advice is to just build your core wardrobe, which you always have. And then you need to kind of change your statement piece around to have a wardrobe that always changes, essentially. I wear these trousers a lot. These are my running trousers. I know how to fit. That's sick. Good quality denim jacket, which you can always just throw on. Varsity sweaters, corduroy blazer, long black overcoats or jackets, varsity jackets, low key, just black stuff on the back. But the key is to have basics that you can wear with any kind of statement piece and you can build up that statement piece. I don't personally like it when people have some really, really over the top trousers and a really over the top top and an over the top hat. because It doesn't really go well together. There's too many clashes. I just keep it very simple and then have that one piece that kind of stands out. Because it's a lot easier to control your style. It's a lot easier to look presentable without looking very garish and very over the top. When you buy essentials, if you plan on keeping for a long time, maybe you should invest some more money into it because you're gonna have it for a longer time. You're gonna get more wear of it. Wear of it? Wear out of it. With something like a statement piece, you might wear it one, two, three times, get tired of it, and it's like, why? Done. Next step on how to look fly as fuck. Statement pieces. Now, statement pieces can literally be anything. It's a bit more out there, a bit more loud, a bit more... Now, you can literally find statement pieces everywhere. I find most of my statement pieces in vintage. It's very affordable. You can change them out a lot and you can find some really cool things. Just to give an example, super nice flowy shirt. Bit of print on it, bit of text on it. Something like orange Ralph Simmons t-shirt. It's very simple, just flowery, but you've got that very, very strong orange color, which really stands out. This one being more vintage, this one being more new, but both being statement pieces. Wow, crazy Magnus. Tell me more. Tell me more about how looking fly as fuck, please. I will, don't worry guys. Another good example is stuff like all shirts these days have been super popular. Something like this one from Paul Smith. Very, very over the top, very, very summery, where this is still, I'd say, a bit of a statement piece maybe, but a bit more downtoned. What I'm trying to get 
add is that you wouldn't wear any of these items with something like another statement piece. I wouldn't put any of this together because there's just too many clashes where instead if you put one of these pieces together with a pair of simple trousers, then you've kind of isolated the statement piece. Boring. It's not as garish, like it's not as over the top, essentially. Very, very easy statement piece, although it is, I mean, the trend is pretty much dead by now. It started in 2016 or 15, 16, then it grew into 16, 17, and now in 2018, it should have been dead, but some people, <coughs> Me, still beating the dead horse. Band t-shirts, vintage, cheap, a bit more statementy, makes an outfit look a little more interesting. I know Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me, in the name of love, good old Def Leppard. But the point I'm getting at is that statement pieces come in every shape and form, and I think for me, it's a lot about isolating that statement piece. Use some basic pieces to build up the statement piece. I use a fuck ton of rings. I've got my watch, a belt chain down here, two loops here. That's another way to mix it up and add more to your outfit. Black trousers, white t-shirt tucked in, but then the use of accessories is gonna then take it to the next level, I'd say. Next level of how to look fly as fuck. The last part is simply buying and selling. And now this is mainly towards the statement pieces. Statement pieces are usually the items you get bored of the fastest, I'd say. So not everyone has the same kind of disposable income. Not everyone has the same amount of money. You kind of have to rotate your collection and buy and sell stuff. And that's where Bump comes in. I'll be selling some of my statement pieces on Bump for a pretty cheap price. Obviously, I'm making money through Bump sponsoring this video, but then I'll give you guys some good deals. So as I said, Bump is a buying and selling app. One of the things I like the most about it is the filter. So on a filter, it's very, very clean. You can search for brands. You've got Supreme, my favorite brand. Palace, my second favorite brand. Bape, my third favorite brand. Pata of White, Go Shastusi. Of course, there are other brands on it as well, but these are just kind of the shortcut brands. Then you can search for the color. I'm going for this one, going for the yellow. Yellow? Actually, skip yellow. I'm going, I'm going beige. And then you can find tops, bottoms, outerwear, footwear, accessories, or proxy. Now, proxy is a feature that might be very relevant for people who love Supreme or love more hype drops. Off-white proxy, Supreme proxy, maybe you want a pair of wave runners. Now, this isn't really a feature that's relevant for me because I don't really care about Supreme or hype stuff. But let's go on beige. Peach, peach pocket tee, Henda scheme, some beige, other stuff. By buying and selling stuff, you can then change your wardrobe all the time. You can sell your or statement pieces and then buy other ones and then that way rotate and always look fly as fuck but i'm gonna take you guys through the process of selling an item this paul smith throw shirt so we're gonna go on sell paul smith wow i fucked that one up didn't i paul smith i'm gonna take a couple pictures Bam, that looks horrible. Condition used. I think retail this is like 240. We're gonna sell it for 60 quid. And colors, we're gonna do blue. Condition nine out of 10. We're gonna do a detail shot. Show off the nice color. There we go. So now you can see I'm selling a Paul Smith floor shirt. So if you wanna go buy this, then you're more than welcome to. As I said, I'll be uploading a lot of shit. Sorry, I'll be uploading a lot of stuff. There'll be very good prices because Bomb is sponsoring this video. So I'd rather give back to you guys. There's gonna be shirts, jackets, t-shirts, shoes, all at good prices. Bump works via PayPal. So that means that everything you buy, everything you sell will be protected by PayPal buyer or seller security. If someone doesn't ship an item, you can then claim back and then get your money back. If someone sends you a fake, you can go through PayPal to make sure you don't get scammed. So basically, you're protected as a buyer and a seller. Having a wardrobe that you can buy and sell from helps you to rotate your closet and keep your core wardrobe, but keep changing your statement pieces. That was horrible. I'm gonna see myself out. Yeah. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how to, how to look fly as fuck. To kind of summarize, number one, classic, simple, base wardrobe. That's really what you're gonna build the rest of the style on. Second is statement pieces. Kind of isolate them, make them really stand out. Don't clash them, I'd say. Don't clash different patterns. I might be boring, but it just looks a bit shit, not gonna lie. And last, keep rotating your wardrobe by buying stuff and selling stuff. You can test things you don't like or might like and then find your style, essentially. Now, the last thing, very, very good 
advice, which I should have given in like the beginning of this video. Some days we all feel kind of shit. We don't really know what we want to wear. We all kind of feel like, oh, I hate my style today. My style sucks. Base trousers just aren't cool anymore. So having pre-planned outfits on the days you feel shit can be a very, very good way to kind of combat that shitness. On a day where you're feeling really good, really confident, plan out some outfits you know are going to work really well. On the days where you feel less nice and more shit, put on those pre-planned outfits and then you don't have to think about how your clothes look essentially that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching thank you very much to bump for sponsoring this video as i said don't forget to go down and download the app go check out the stuff i'm selling i'll keep using this app to sell my shit on and yeah go cop some steals peace